quickly, outstanding year last year. I, I was uh, so impressed and, and so happy about his uh, his six man of the year campaign last year, finishing six second in the league. Um, his versatility, being the defensive signal caller, right, kind of like that safety of the quarterback of the defense. His improvements offensively, especially from the mid range. His versatility as a starter versus the bench. I mean, there was no drop-off. The team just played better with Quickly on the court, had the drop-off in the playoffs, which we, we we still can't really put a finger on what it was. What do you think about Quickly in this contract year for him? Number one, do you, do you feel like they're, they're, they're going to get a deal done before the October 23rd deadline? Let, let's start there. I would say it's more likely than not that they get one done. I think like they like him. Yeah. They know how good of a player he is. They know retaining him is important. And I think the one complication is that this team is constantly on the hunt for a star. They're constantly waiting for somebody to ask out. And if you extend quickly now, the extension doesn't kick in until next year, but because the NBA CBA is just a freaking mess to deal with and is so complicated. And I'm not going to explain all the reasons now, but If he signs the extension today, which doesn't kick in until 2024, he is really difficult to trade before 2024. Just like matching salaries becomes an extremely complicated venture. And it's not impossible, but it's difficult. And the Knicks know that if they want to go get a star and somebody huge ass out in the middle of the year and they have a legitimate shot at him, quickly is probably going to be in that deal. Like, because we're talking about a ginormous MVP caliber player whether it's Embiid or somebody else, right? Mm-hmm. And you're not just going to like, the other team's going to have to get something good. And quickly is, there are teams who think quickly is their best young guy, you know? Mm-hmm. So he's probably going to have to be in that. And it would complicate that issue. I do know that the Knicks believe it's more likely that a star will be available next summer than this mm-hmm. year. They also think it's important to make sure that he's locked up on a decent contract. So I would say more likely than not, they they extend him. Uh, I, 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 I don't think it maybe happens till closer to the October 23rd deadline. When in doubt in the NBA, assume that everyone is a procrastinator. <laughs> but so I think it happens closer to the deadline. But yeah, I think I think more likely than not, something gets done. It just seems like the best thing for both parties. Yeah. Like keep a really good player and. Man, quickly, like, go get go get paid, you know? Yeah, yeah. 